Hello YouTube! It is the 15th of May and that means that it's time for a Luxbox unboxing! But first of all I would like to tell you my exciting news. Well it's not really news but it is exciting. It's that uh is that my friend Locke was holding a giveaway and I won! And it was really really awkward because um I was I was there in the video being a beautiful assistant holding the hat for her to draw the names out of and 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 then she already gave me a prize for making a good comment and then then my name rolled in the roulette and and I won and I was half asleep so I was all like what and so you can see that over on Lark's channel which I will uh, link in the description it's fun, and she's fun, and she's Australian, and that's fun, and yay -o. So, I'm gonna pay it forward, and next time I get a slightly landmarky amount of subscribers, which I think in this case will probably be 150, I am going to hold a giveaway of my own to celebrate 150 subscribers, and that'll be really nice of me, I guess. So, go ahead and tell your friends that I'm really cool and fun and I'm sure they won't mind you lying to them too much in case they get like free stuff. Anyway, today is Luxbox Day! May 2017 marks a whole year of Luxbox running, which is incredible. I, I kinda can't believe it. it. It's gone by so fast. Now, uh, Luxbox will be holding an event at between 2 to 4 SLT. If you wear something from any of the past year's Lux boxes in the colors white or gold, you stand a chance of winning the June edition of Lux Box, which is really cool. Uh, that's a party which will probably be going on around the time I post this. I've been procrastinating. If you jump right on that, good luck! So anyway, the Lux Box, as you may or may not know, is the original monthly subscription box in Second Life. It costs 1500 lindens prior to the 15th of the month and 3000 thereafter. You get stuff from 12 really cool designers, that includes clothing, hair, decor, and usually something adorable. And it's excellent value for money, these things are all fat packed, and you buy into it by buying into the group at the beginning of the month which has the 1500 linden join fee and it's really cool here is the may lux box heart itself clicking on each of these polaroids will give you the item this round we have thingies from blueberry empire flowey foxes ison jian lamb moon paper arrow co Scarlet Creative, Tart, and Teefy. As always, I have gone ahead and had each of these things delivered to me, and I have unpacked them, and so we can jump right in with some blueberry. I'm wrong with starting out with Empire. Oh, every time I'm wrong, my heart shatters. <sighs> so, Empire has Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum comes in sizes 4. Belitza, Freya, Isis, Venus, Slink, Hourglass, and Physique, and Matreya Lara. I am wearing the Matreya Lara, and I am wearing the Matreya Lara high feet right now. So let's put them on! Oh boy, look at that. So, Empire's Chrysanthemum, they go way up thigh high, which is nice. I like the way they tie just right here, that it's not really a proper tie so much as a sort of Loopity doopity. They are really cool. I like these. I like these chunky heels. And yeah, they are cute. Let's take a look at the colors. I would like to note that with these shoes, but especially, it's important to wear the version that matches your body because they'll fit the leg that you have. So it's important that, you know, if you normally wear slink feet uh, with a Matreya body or whatever then make sure that you wear the ones that come with your body or else you will have some fitting issues. Now, the Empire HUD is always generous. Uh, this round we don't have a metal setting because there are no metals here on the thing. 
But we do have these crowns offering us a difference in the sole of the shoe. And furthermore, this side of the HUD we can use to change the leather, the heel and inside sole of the shoe, and the ties that go up to the thigh. Look, I made ice cream shoes or, or something. The important thing is I didn't pick the yellow, even though I always pick the yellow. So I, I think, honestly, y'all should be proud of me. Anyway, that is the Empire Chrysanthemum, which are awesome. Blueberry, for it is indeed actually really for real, no full on time for blueberry now. Has a bikini for us. A bikini, which is just called bikini. Well, Luxbox May 2017 bikini. Comes in sizes for Bellate, Safreya, Isis, Venus, Slink Hourglass, and Physique. And Matreya Lara, we wear the Matreya Lara, and we will have to take off our underwears, which are by Sinek, and is the Lost Innocence on Omega Layer. Mm, that is a grown-up bikini. I love the ties, I always love ties, I like bows, okay? But I really like the fit of it, I always like the fit of blueberry stuff. Blueberry stuff just fits like a like a glove of some description. It's got some good butt going on because Blueberry is known for having some good butt going on. Again, I really like the way the ties are done. I just think it's a little detail that can make all the difference, you know, just them having a little bit of twist and a little bit of imperfection in the ties. I think it's just very pretty. Now these have got like a, a sort of cage effect with an underlay. They have very nice texturing. Here are my boobs. Now if you watched my cutie loop video, you will know that my boobs are too small. Uh, so they unfortunately sometimes have this issue where um, it's just a minor fitting issue. But if your boobs were bigger, than mine, which are very small, then you would not have that issue. So even just bringing them up a little bit has mitigated that. So most people will not have the problem I just had there. So if we take a look at the HUD, the HUD for the Lux Box May 2017 Bikini by Blueberry has lots and lots of options and as I had hoped, you can mix and match. And so, for instance, this lower layer here. Oh, they all say panties. I am confused by the use of the word panties right here. I assume it's just an oversight. So, let's go and put on some of my classic colors. There, I've gone with the turquoise, but I've still stayed away from yellow. You guys, see what I do for you. So, as, um, as I theorized, this word panties is just spurious. It, has no reason to be anywhere, just ignore it. And so these sections refer to the top base and the top strap. This turquoise part here being the base and the white being the strap. And it, it's a little more makes sense on the bottom part, but yeah, the bottom base is the turquoise and the bottom strap is the white. So you've got so many mix and match options here. You can make all kinds of pretty things. But also, even if you just choose to make it black, black like your soul, it still looks really, really nice. Just if you just pick the, the single colors, it still has a very pretty effect going on on it. It is a extremely versatile bikini and I assume I will see lots of it at beach parties and whatnot over the course of the summer. That is the Blueberry Lux Box May 2017 Bikinis. Foxes is next with the L Tank Dress. The L Tank Dress comes in sizes to fit the Slink Hourglass and the Matreya Lara. Furthermore, it comes with fits that are looser for Lara and Hourglass. Bear in mind this does say looser and not loser. Foxes are not being unkind to you. This is a double O which makes the ooh sound. So this is Lusa. Really, first impressions, my underwear needs to go. But other than that, this is a beautiful fit. I like it. I have to be careful not to upskirt myself considering um, my, my lack of protection. But it is very, very nice. I like the drape of it. 
I like the general smallness of it, you know? Take a look at the looser fit. The looser fit is indeed just a little looser. It has a bit more drape going on on it. It has a little more slouch. It's really cool. It reminds me of... Okay, did you ever see the movie Empire Records? And at one point, uh, the one character, who I believe was played by a young Rene Zelda, uh, just puts on, like, an apron that they're supposed to be putting over their, um, clothes as part of the uniform. And she's just dancing around wearing that. It reminds me of that in the shape, except this front part, which doesn't. But that's what it puts in my brain. I like Empire Records, okay? Leave me alone. Okay, so in the folder, this item is called L, but on the HUD, it is called Burnout. So, pick your favorite. We have ten colors mostly darks. We also have this one here, which puts me in mind of fairies. I'm not sure if this is deliberate. I'm gonna put back on the uh, not looser fit and see if that is any different. Yes, yeah, so I believe the looser fit has a texture error, which I assume they will fix. They're very good about that kind of thing. So later on, I will try and get a re-delivery from the HUD. But for now, the regular fit is very, very pretty. I do really like the, um, the, the texture options here, like these fades. Obviously this one is a color scheme I really like. It kind of matches my eyes and the makeup on my eyes. And then there are plain blacks and other colors and this fade. It is very nice, very wearable, very casual without being slutty and yet I'm not wearing underwear as I say that. Yeah, it's really nice. It's the Burnout or L tank, whichever you prefer, by Foxes. It just occurred to me in all of my smarts that the Foxes item is actually called like the L or Burnout tank, not dress, and so you could probably, at least in theory, wear it with like some bottoms. You, you don't have to just wear it as a teeny tiny dress. I'm very good at clothes, you guys. Okay, the next item in our box, May 2017 is by Ison, and it is the rose top. Bear in mind, top, not dress. Ah, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, the rose top comes in sizes for slick hourglass and physique and material aura. It's cute! It's very flowy, but it's not flowy. <laughs> you see what I did there? Because one, the, one of the brands in here is flowy. Okay, good. Um, so anyway, it has a good flow to it. It is a sleeveless little little gypsy sort of top with these little ties, which would be the sleeves if I was in a slightly different pose, but I didn't want it to be all squished into my body and squishy squish. I like these ties. Again, what stands about you know, twists being imperfect and stuff. I love that. It again would probably fit better if I had bigger boobs. This this here would make more sense, but the drape is good. And we will look at the different colors. Oh, that's cool. The HUD gives us the option to turn the sleeves on and off, so that's neat. We get nine color options. We got some neutrals, some softs, and some bright. As always, Ison's texturing is spot on. And it is a cute, flirty little summer offering from Ison. The rose top. Alright, next we come to the adorable portion of our lux box. Now normally this is done by Mish Mish, but this round we have some things from Jian. We have a Jack Russell Terrier. Now Jian does some adorable, fantastic uh, little animals, uh, especially dogs. This includes a companion version, a held version, and a wanderer. I actually have a Jian wandering Labrador puppy outside my house right now. Look, here he is being dwarfed by Dandelion. As you can see, the animation is fantastic. Anyway, we'll look at the one that we are getting. So in our May 2017 Lux box, Jian is offering us a Jack Russell Terrier, a companion version, a held version, and a Wanderer. I'm gonna res out the Wanderer. Oh my goodness, look at this face. That is such a mischievous little Jack Russell face. So you can, uh, with the Wanderer version, you can resize, you can set him to wander, you can set the wandering radius, and slightly off screen, you can set the sound. So, you know, he'll sometimes bark and stuff. So we'll set him to wander. And this will animate him. Look at him go. 
Oh my gosh, that is perfect. Just that little, that little yelp. Yes. You see, these are lovely. These are absolutely adorable. Gian do absolutely amazing. Little dogs and so forth. He loves my laundry room slash evil lair. I hope he doesn't start licking up the star paint. That's probably not good for a dog. So there is also a companion version who will run along beside you like a faithful pal. You'll have to edit his position just a little, as you can see for me, he's sunken into the ground. So bring him up a bit, and you have a pal for life. Oh, he did a little roll, look at that! I've heard some exciting new things about the, um, about the way this sort of thing is going to be able to work, where, um, they're going to be able to animate attachments themselves, I believe. I don't quite understand all the ins and outs of it, but basically, uh, they'll be able to make mesh animals more efficient and so that's really cool i love the way his ears flop when he hops so cute and then there is also the held version oh he's a sleepy puppy oh my god see i'm not even a dog person but these dogs are so cute look he's a sleepy 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 puppy he has been chasing so many wonderful things in the park and he is Tuck it out. With this whole version, you can also resize and you can turn the animation off if you're either taking a picture or I don't know. But you can have him animated or not. But he is so cute! Such a sleepy puppy. Oh my gosh. I love these guys. Don't you lick up those stars. Okay, so those are the Jack Russell Terriers by Gian. I swear it's the hardest part of these videos is having to put down the held version of whatever cute pal I get in the Lux box because I don't want to put down that sleepy puppy. I don't want him to wake up. I want him to dream about chasing rabbits but not catching the rabbits because I like rabbits. I don't want them to get eaten. Chasing rabbits or, or tennis balls. Anyway, we have a hair from Lamb to try on. Now that means taking off this hair. This hair is from a gacha at Epiphany. It is by LCKY. It is the Maria in the roses pack. And it it took a lot of plays for me to get this one for some reason. I got the rare like a bunch of times, but this one? Shh. But I got it eventually, so that was nice. But now we are here to try on the lamb boyfriend. I love it already. I know I say it every time, but I love the way that lamb hair frames my face. It just, I don't know, something about it is just very, very flattering to my face. I've always liked the way that lamb hair frames the face. Let us put on the red hood. So lamb boyfriend is a wavy bedhead style. It's shoulder length ish and got some volume going on here and it's messy but not super messy and again similar to and kind of like if I had really nice hair that I blow dried what well, that might come out like but I don't so yeah but I like this hair there's not a lot to say about it I always like the way it frames the face I always like the strands I always like lamb's texture. It is a lamb hair in the stream and it's beautiful and I love it. It is the lamb boyfriend hair. Ordinarily in our Lux Box proceedings we have a little buffer where I res out the mishmish thing and go ee about it but this time we are straight on to another hair. Uh, the hair by Moon this time. It is called Melopmean, maybe if I pronounced that right, but if I didn't, it still called that out of my mouth. Melopamine comes in all the various colors, and here it goes. It is a straight, straight asymmetric bob, and this, it comes textured, which isn't usual for Moon. Moon normally is, uh, is white out of the box, so that was an exciting difference. But yeah, it's a, it's a very straight asymmetrical bob, which is always nice. As with the lamb hair, it frames my face nicely. Maybe my face just has a nice frame. I DK. I wear the erratics pack with Moon. This red, the rooted red. Now, someone was saying earlier on work that, that Moon's red pack 
was not as right as they would imagine. And on first glance, I would I would agree because it's not the kind of red I wear, and certainly what I wear is red. But in reality, this is quite a similar, you know, realistic tone to what an actual redhead's hair would be like. Perhaps a little more carroty, but there is no way I would ever call someone with this hair color, for instance, not a redhead. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was interesting to note. The reds may not be what I wear, even though my hair is most definitely red, but it is definitely a real red. Back to my artificial red, which I always tint down, although I just want to say that this part right here, oops, this bit right here, this little, this little part here, it's very nice. The sort of highlight on it. I think I look like Avril Lavigne right now. My avatar looked less than impressed for a second. Anyway, I tint it down with a bit of grey, and it's nice. So that is the Melotomine. It is a straight, long, asymmetrical bob, and it's cool. Paper Arico is next with the Embroidered Romper. The Embroidered Romper comes in sizes for Slink Hourglass and Betrayer. Wow! Sorry, this is more elaborate texturing than I'm used to from Paper Arico. <gasps> I love it! I love this, this sort of pulling along the seam here and this exotic brocade thing on the top. I guess it's not brocade, but whatever it is, it's pretty. And then it's doing this. I've never understood what these straps are called, but the thing where they do that, those straps. Wow, it's lovely. I really like the seam. See, I'm kind of obsessive over seams. Oh, there's my butt. Let me take off my underwear. There we go, now I don't have an awkward crack. I just have a really sexy wedgie. I really love the seams on this. I'm just such a dork, I know. Wow. So here's the HUD, and we have options for gold or silver detailing on both the top and the short. Oh, I love that. I love that the silver, the silver isn't too cold. It's almost a desaturated rose gold. I really like that. Still love the seams. Oh my god. And I do like this cutout version. This is very nice. This is very, very wearable. I was wondering, the reason I picked the silver with the white was just I was wondering how the silver would stand up to the white. And it does it so well. I thought it would be like, like too subtle, but it's not. It's lovely. This is just stunning. The Paper Arco Embroidered Romper. I can definitely see myself wearing this over the summer. I like it a lot. Scarlet Creative is next, which we will, as always, take outside at the end of the video to look at. So next of all, we have Stories & Co by Flowey. Stories & Co has the Lilith dress. The Lilith dress comes in sizes for Slink Hourglass, Slink Physique, Matreya Lara, and Matreya with a flat chest. Oh, this is pretty, and it actually goes really nicely with my bra. I, I think that's actually quite a nice addition to it, but I'll take it off because that is not part of the intended look. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a very simple shift dress, the slit at the front, and not the back. It's got nice creases to it. Just a very nice, simplistic dress. Taking a look at the HUD, no kale this time. I love Flowey's kale color. But we do have five very nice pastels. We've got the cream, the pink, the lilac, the blue, and the mint. We're wearing cream right now, I assume. On with the mint. Such a beautiful, subtle shade. It's very, it's very nuanced. Very nuanced. I love it. It's so pretty. I absolutely adore the, the sort of staple kind of feeling that Flowey's clothes have, that Stories & Co. offer. I, I think it's wonderful, I think. I think it's nice just to have something real simple and pretty and nicely made and beautifully shaded that you could dress up or down however you wanted, you know, with jewelry, all kinds of things. You know it doesn't come on too much attention, it doesn't wear strangely. I think it's really nice and I really like the incredibly subtle 
Prince of Fellas. That is the Stories and Co. Lilith dress. Alphabetically, the next item is top, which we will look at outside when we look at Scarlet Creative. So our final wearable in this May edition of the Lux Box is the TP Jenna Tube Top. Now the Jenna Tube Top comes in sizes 4, Slink Alkalos and Matreya Lara. I like this! I like this a lot. It's a simple tube top. It's got this wraparound tie here at the front. It's loosely structured. It, it doesn't do anything weird with my small boobs. Well, maybe a bit, but not really. Um, and it's nice. It's just a sim nice, simple tube top. Let's take a look at the HUD. The HUD on the TV Jenna tube top gives us 15 color options. We've got these bolts in the middle, these light pastels down here, and these patterns up here. Also this denim, I guess. We've got this floral. Oh, how pretty is that? Beautiful, so pretty. And another floral. And then yeah, more stripes. And these planes. And it is really nice. And you could wear it with just about anything. And I adore it. I, I get it's another thing that I think I'm going to get good wear out of this summer. So yay, that is the TP Jenna tube top. Me and my doggo pal are out in an area which may be familiar to those of you who watch my deco crate videos. It is this thing. We still have a cookie out from last time for sitting on in the last Luxbox video. But as for right now, we are going to look at the Scarlet Creative Sunday Table and five summer chairs. The Scarlet Creative Sunday Table comes as a soft link object, so we'll just res all that out and it saves me having to arrange stuff. Yay! Wow, would you look at that? It's not just a dining set, it's a whole setting. Like a whole table set. Ooh, me. Wow, I love it! There is so much going on here. I love these mismatched chairs. Now this one in particular reminds me of a chair that I had in my bedroom when I was in my teens. It was from like a charity shop. It didn't have padding. The, the the seat was, it had like a sort of pattern on it, I guess, like carved into the wood, but this type of chair, absolutely, completely familiar to me. <laughs> but anyway, this is lovely, it's this rustic table and five different chairs, even though there are six settings here. And then look at all these little plates, these little table settings, and this here these plants and bread and candles. I love the plants on this candle. Wow, this is so nice. I love it. If I pull out this chair, that is nice. It's it's not too gigantically big for me like some things are. I mean, it's still a bit big because I am minuscule, but pretty. It features six it, including a floor set. Don't sit on the floor at the table. Although now my doggo thinks maybe he might get a treat if I'm down here at eye level. He's like, ooh, can I have some of that bread? I don't know, do dogs eat bread? I, I don't own a dog, I own rabbits. I don't know. Just nice sits in the chairs. I love it, that is a beautiful set and much more than I was expecting. That's very cool. That is the Scarlet Creative Sunday table with five summer chairs. The final item in our May 2017 Lux Box is the Tarte Old Window Bed. We get two versions of it, the floral and the striped. I'm gonna res out both versions because bed. This is adorable! I really like this. I love the idea of like old windows with a headboard. It seems dangerous, glass, but you know it's SL. So we ain't gonna be breaking no glass, however vigorous we get. Here is the striped version, and here is the floral version. Uh, note cards are included that say that the string lights can be unlinked, and that the pillow and the throw blanket are texture change. So I can make the pillows cycle between the floral and the striped, and the throw blanket can go from white to this kind of burlap grey and vice versa on the floral version. 
so you can mix it up a bit. The Tarte Old Window Bed comes in an adult version only. Shocking. <laughs> But it also has just couples poses and friends poses. I can be chatting or spending time or friends or I can lie on my tummy. Dog, you're on the bed. Oh my goodness, dog. <sighs> I just wanted to relax. You know what, bunnies, they don't jump on the bed. Well, I mean, some do. Good bunnies, nice bunnies. Maybe they might jump on the bed, but my, my bunnies don't jump on the bed. They'd have to get upstairs. The point is, it's a nice bed. It's pretty, I love the concept of it, and it's neat. And that is the top old window bed in striped and floral. Makeup credits as ever. My eye makeup is by Adored. It is the Cindy Shadows in the Bomb Diggity Edition from the current round of Rewind. My lipstick is by Shiny Stuff. That is the sweet lip. My nails, as they so often are, are a group gift from Hello Day. And everything else you know about. Now, if you are watching this the moment it comes out, please I must remind you to go to the par the Luxe Box one year party. Wear something white or gold for many of the past Lux boxes, and you could win one for June. I can't believe, I really can't believe it's been a whole year since the first Lux box came out. It's really changed how we do things in SL right now. You know, it, it won't last forever, the su subscription craze, but I'm having a good time with it, so I don't mind. I ain't even mad. Other than that, go see my friend Lux's channel. She is neat and Australian and cool because she's Australian and because she's cool I guess and this has been the May 2017 Lux box and I have been Navaya Barbosa and remember to like and subscribe if you like and subscribe me and remember that uh, once I get to 150 subscribers I am going to be doing a giveaway so woohoo okay thank you bye bye